What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be showing you how to replace the oil in your Hyundai Kona. Now this is a 2019 and it has the 1.6 liter TGDI engine in it. Now the first thing I like to do is take this thing for a drive and get that engine up to normal running temperature and then I'm gonna jack it up so we can get underneath it. Now you don't have to jack up the car extremely high, you do want to keep it somewhat level. I threw the jack underneath the pin seam here, then threw a jack stand a little further up, and I got one on either side just holding it up off the ground. Now underneath here we conveniently have our oil drain plug and our oil filter right next to each other. So we're going to loosen up the drain plug, this is a 17 millimeter nut, and drain it into our oil pan. All right, so I wanna put our oil drain plug back in here now that all our oil has been drained. Now the reason we got the car up to running temperature is so that the oil is less viscous. Just be careful that when that oil does come out, you don't burn yourself if your car is too hot. We can now torque this down to 30 foot pounds. I'm now gonna be using my oil filter removal tool to loosen up this oil filter. I like to fill up this new oil filter with fresh oil before I put it back on the vehicle. You don't have to fill it up to the top, just get a little bit of oil in there. And then I'll dip my finger in the oil and I'll put it around this seal. And that'll just help lubricate that. And one other thing that's extremely important, check your old filter here and make sure that that seal is still on there. If it got stuck to your engine and you put that new filter on, it'll have a double seal and that will leak. Another thing you can do is actually Check that oil filter housing and you can see if there's a seal on there. We do not have a seal, so we're good. And we can install the new oil filter. And when you're installing your new oil filter, you just need to get it hand tight. That's everything underneath the car. We can go ahead up here on top of the engine and remove this oil cap. And right on the oil cab, it says we need to add 5W30 to this engine. And this engine does take 4.76 quart. I put that cab back on. I'm going to go ahead and lower the car. I'm going to start it and let it run for a few minutes. I'm going to turn it off, let it sit, and let all that oil drain to the oil pan. And then we can check the oil level. And as always guys, links down in the description of all the parts and tools I used in this video. Now while this car was running, I did take a look underneath it and made sure nothing was leaking. All that looked good, so now I can check the engine oil level. And I just want to make sure that that level is in between this full and low, the little dots on this dipstick. So I'm going to push this all the way down till it bottoms out. And as I'm pulling it out, I don't know if you're able to see it in the video, but that line is sitting right there, right on that full mark. So we are good to go. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.